Welcome back to River City Live. We are just wrapping up Fall Prevention Awareness Month. And here to tell us more and with some kind of staggering statistics, Brittany Snyder and Dr. Marlo Rivers of Cora Physical Therapy. Thanks for joining us, ladies. Let's talk about those statistics right off the bat. Yeah, thanks so fall, for having us. Well, yeah. you're very welcome because it's, it's alarming to hear how much damage is done to people through falling every single year. Yes, falls and fall-related injuries are a serious problem. 30% of people over the age of 65 and 50% of people over the age of 80 sustain a fall um, annually. Um, and then we're talking broken hips, broken bones, and sometimes even worse. Absolutely, and the cost of it is uh, astounding as well. It is estimated that in the, by the year of 2020, the estimated cost for falls and related injuries to falls would be $67 billion. And you're here to tell us a little bit about ways to prevent falls. And Brittany, at Cora, first of all, what does Cora do? So Cora is an outpatient um, rehabilitation center. Um, we have 12 locations in Jacksonville, um, and we treat everyone. We treat um, neuro disorders, orthopedic injuries, any, any issue, that illness, injury that you have, we treat. But you can also screen to see if somebody is at risk for fall. Yes, so if you feel, after Marlo talks about um, the symptoms that you may have to think that you're a fall risk, um, we will do a complimentary injury screen, a fall screen, um, come into any of our 12 clinics, and we'll do some testing on you, and then if we think you're a candidate for physical therapy, we'll help you with that. Okay, because sometimes it's a matter of getting ahead of it. I can tell yes. you that my own mother, goes to the gym and she's out there with a squat rack, not a lot of weight, but her friends are falling and breaking hips yeah. and knock wood, she so far has not had a fall. Yeah. So tell us then what some of the symptoms of being a, a fall risk are. Well, yeah, prevention is key. So if you can identify the problem prior to you know having a fall, it will definitely um, be um, better for the patient. But there are some simple things that you could probably do at home, like you know making sure that um, as far as the environment is concerned, that you're clearing the floors and making sure that the, that it's safe within the home. But some things that we do within the clinic is that we identify a patient, whether it's that they've had a history of a fall previously, or if it's a matter of they've had some stumbles or near falls. But there is a simple screen that you can do if you're in doubt on whether or not you are at risk for fall. Um, and it's a matter of like a single leg stance, balance test. Oh, my goodness. So <laughs> are we going to try that? Brittany? We're going to try Brittany that. Brittany just got back from the Chicago Marathon. So I don't know if you're. are I might be jelly. a fall risk. But <laughs> okay, let's see. What are we so doing? So it's performed with your eyes open. And it's oh, as okay. simple as you can put your hands on your hips. And um, the time starts when your foot leaves the floor. So once you pick your foot up, if you can maintain this to, position yes, right. without letting your hands leave your hips or the foot, I'm going back to the floor for five seconds, then you're good. So let's try it, right. Brittany. Here we go. Oh, oh my, I'm not gonna be good at this no matter what because of my shoes. Four or five. So I think you guys are pretty good. <laughs> but that is a very simple way if, to... Yeah. yeah. If you're in doubt, um, that is something that you can do at home. But um, physical therapy is a very intricate part of identifying those risk factors, um, whether it's due to decreased strength. Inactivity is a big thing that we see within the clinic, that someone who's maybe had a fall before and they have a fear of falling, so now they don't want to move around. Um, but, you know, they become weaker. Their balance becomes a little bit more challenged. Um, they become their muscle imbalance balances and issues. So those are things that we see in the clinic that we're able to treat to improve those. And so what we want to do right now, because we know someone watching right now is saying, look, I need to get this information to somebody. We're going to put all of the information, including Cora's website, up on our website, rivercitylivetv.com. And we're going to send it out now to Mark and Chef Tony in the kitchen.